That's right, Juan. And it's important to understand that this policy shift will not impact immigrant detention centers. Uh, many people think about the prisons that will be impacted that Seth described uh, because they are immigrant-only facilities, essentially separate but equal prisons that he helped expose. But what we want to be clear that this decision from the DOJ is not going to impact anything that has to do with DHS, Department of Homeland Security. However, that is sort of where the momentum is here. People are saying if there are flaws with how private prison operators it, accused of shortcuts run federal facilities in, under one agency, what about under another agency. Something else that I think is important to distinguish here because is that— it's the same companies, more or less, right, running— it's Corrections Corporation of America and Geo Group primarily. They run the private prison contracts that are going to be ended by the DOJ. They also have the contracts for the immigrant detention centers, which are largely privatized, but not all. Now, one thing I also wanted to mention is, you know, we— we talked about the federal prisons that are closing that hold so-called criminal aliens. That's what the government calls them. They are largely accused of crossing the border, being charged with a misdemeanor, and then after a few times of that, being convicted of a felony for that same offense. So they're in prison for crossing the border without permission. It's, it seems like an immigration offense, but it's not. Once they get done with that sentence, they then go on to immigrant detention. And one thing that is interesting about immigrant detention centers is that not everyone there has this prior criminal background. We're talking about people who largely are committed of civil offenses, coming to the country without permission, no crime, but held essentially in a controlled environment with barbed wire, guards. And what's interesting recently at these privately run immigrant detention centers is that the Obama administration has brought back family detention centers. So we're talking about CCA and GEO, who have shortcomings in Federal Bureau of Prisons, running a facility where children as young as two years old are being held with their parents. For example.